Hello, how are you all? I hope you're all doing great. This is definitely not a fun subject to talk about. There has been yet another senseless tragedy that happened in Los Angeles. Another young person has lost their lives at the hand of a criminal, one who probably shouldn't be on the streets in the first place, and who is still at large. You might have heard of this story. So we're talking about the actor Johnny Wachter. He's a 37-year-old actor living in Los Angeles. He actually found success as an actor with was on over 160 episodes of General Hospital. Although he was still working a second job, he had a bartending job downtown. And um, recently he was at work a little bit later than usual downtown. He was leaving work at about 3 a.m. with his female coworker, and he was actually doing the right thing and walking her back to his car. And while they were walking to her car, he noticed that his car was up and being carjacked up so it was raised up and he assumed that he was getting towed and simply said hey are you towing me and quickly realized that was not the situation there were three men involved in this uh one of the main ones looked at him immediately he realized that they were in danger and johnny put himself in between his female co-worker and the assailant and unfortunately this just unhinged just animal of a criminal uh fatally took johnny's life and he did pass away i don't know if it was on the scene or on the way to the hospital but i was a little bit annoyed by how some people frame this story he actually wasn't trying to be a savior he wasn't trying to go into some situation and talk to people he was really doing the right thing and i do genuinely think he thought that his car was getting towed what would you think if your car was up but let's look at the news story and then let's talk about this because there's another odd little twist of this story that happened. So we'll get to that uh, later on in the video, but let's look at the news coverage. A young Hollywood actor's life has been cut short. 37-year-old Johnny Wachter was fatally shot early Saturday morning. Authorities say he was killed after approaching three men who were attempting to steal the catalytic converter from his car. A little slow, but nothing I can't handle. Wachter was best known for his role as Brando Corbin on General Hospital, appearing in 164 episodes of the popular daytime soap. Wachter's mother Scarlett sang he was chasing his dreams. He lived life to the fullest. He was a light in a dark room, and he will be very missed. Scarlett Wachter telling NBC that her son was leaving his other job at a bar later than usual when he approached his car with a co-worker, wondering if he was being towed. His mother added that when a man with a mask looked up, Wachter stepped in front of his co-worker and was then shot. Wachter's death comes amid a crime surge in major cities. In New York, actor Steve Buscemi was violently attacked just last month, while at the same time, women in the city were being attacked. I was literally just walking, and a man came up and punched me in the face. I wanted to pause it right there. You see how they kind of framed it in the beginning? They do clarify at the end, but I think that gives some people the impression that he was trying to be the tough guy and go up to these guys. I don't think that's what happened at all. And I want to point something else out too they obviously mentioned that in a lot of cities crime is getting out of control what is happening in a lot of these cities is younger and younger people are starting to commit these crimes i actually spoke to restaurant owners in los angeles and that's what they told me they're like what what's really crazy is we're seeing teenagers commit some of these crimes now we don't know the age of these assailants they got away they don't know who they are but this is a trend that's happening in a lot of these cities you're seeing younger and younger kids become more and more youth ruthless in just zero zero regard for life what was that catalytic converter probably a few hundred bucks i don't know what it ran but it was not worth taking someone's life over especially in a situation like that i'm sure they could have run off without having to take an individual's life but here's the rest of the story but this is what's happening in a lot of these cities where you see all of these lawlessness it's just emboldening more and more ruthless behavior now in los angeles johnny wachter's colleagues paying tribute after the shocking crime general hospital posting he was truly one of a kind his tv wife writing my heart is so utterly broken johnny was the absolute best man his manager telling nbc he pursued his dreams and achieved them all the while remaining a good human being caring for others now actors family looking for answers
I hope that they will catch whoever did it. I hope that there will be some kind of justice for Johnny. Let's talk about that, that justice for a second, Morgan. What is the latest on the investigation? Do officials have any potential suspects? Right. Yeah, Craig, police say the investigation is ongoing and police say those three male suspects fled in a vehicle in an unknown direction. Authorities have not made any arrest in this case and are currently looking for any information from the public who may help track down who's behind this. Craig. All right. Now we're going to get to the weird part in kind of a second, but I wanted to share with you, a lot of you might know who DC Drano is. He's pretty big in the conservative or Republican movement. And I do believe, I think he says it here. He used to be an entertainment lawyer. He actually knew Johnny and had some really nice words to say. So I thought I would read that. Uh, he says, this is DC Drano. This is my friend, Johnny Wachter. He was 37 year old man raised in South Carolina who moved to Los Angeles to pursue an acting dream. We met back when I was a Hollywood entertainment attorney and could tell instantly that he was going places. He was likable, adventurous, and always willing to help others. Sadly, his successful acting career was cut short when he was shot and killed in downtown Los Angeles over the weekend. He was walking a female friend to her car on Saturday night when he saw three men lifting his car with a jack and attempting to steal his catalytic converter. When he asked if the car was being towed, one of the men quickly became hostile and pulled the weapon. Johnny stepped in front of his female friend and took a bullet aimed for her he was pronounced dead at the hospital okay we have clarification and the suspects are still at large johnny died a hero la has become crime ridden hellhole with good people being killed for it i hope johnny's tragic murder will wake people up to the dark realities of defunded the police bail reform and soros da's these aren't just political talking points these are real life consequences to these insane policies and i cannot not I couldn't say it any better myself I can't stress it anymore myself and this is just one of many young people that are doing good things with their life that have a whole future in front of them that have families that love them that they have just been taken ever so senselessly so another tragedy hopefully this one will begin or or help start to wake people up okay now here's a part of the story that gets a little bit odd because sometimes people just come out of the woodworks when stuff like this happens right especially in holly weird so this came out and and then who we all thought was maybe his girlfriend or his fiance came out with this video. So I'm going to play you what someone who's who's claiming to be very close to Johnny came out and said, here's the video. These criminals can't keep being on crime in LA had to do this. And I'm hoping that um, change some legislation to prevent this from happening. These criminals can't keep being on the street and they can't keep being sent back and have no repercussions for their actions. You know, if you, the person who did this, if you're watching, I'm sorry, but you shot the wrong guy. You know, you can get a real job. Like, why don't you, I know the job market's hard, but we're all in it together. You don't have to steal. You know? And especially take a life over it, like... Human life is disregarded too easy, guys. We gotta, we gotta make some changes as a community. We gotta support each other and come together. Maybe that's what Johnny's gift is for us. Maybe he's gifting that to all of us. Because he was full of gifts. Crime. So that video was out. I don't know how long. I don't know if it was a full 24 hours, but clearly it was going viral as people felt so bad for this woman. Well, Johnny's mother contacted TMZ and said, hold on a second. This is his ex-fiance whom he actually hasn't spoken to in about two to three years. We as a family have had no contact with this person for two to three years. His mom asked for her to publicly not talk about her her son and her son's tragic passing she's asking this woman not to speak about it in public and accuse this woman of releasing this video for clout oh my uh this is what happens unfortunately sometimes and can we just while we're here uh 
I, I just wanted to say that to give the mom kind of a voice in that situation because this video is still going out and I don't think people realize the mom went to TMZ. So I also want to point out the contents of what she's saying and here we still see a little bit of this you're hoping situations like these wake people up but you're still seeing a little bit of that mind virus in there a little bit of like I know the job market's rough you didn't have to do the, honey they know they don't have to do it they know they're not doing it because they have to they're not doing it because the job market is tough and they can't find a job they're doing it because they can they are doing it because the people of Los Angeles voted to defund the police. They're doing it because the people of Los Angeles voted in a rogue DA who is not prosecuting crime. He is acting like a public defender. We already have a public defender's office. That's that's the balance of crime. You have the public defender's office. That person defends the, the uh, accused criminal. Then you have the prosecutor's office. That is... That side prosecutes for the victim. But now what you have with George Gascon, who Los Angeles overwhelmingly voted in, is now you have the prosecutor who's starting to act like a public defender. And now you have an imbalance in the justice system, not to mention the prisons that have been emptied out and the defunding of the police. All of these things put together causes chaos and crime. And when you're not holding people accountable, or when you all are arresting them, and then you're releasing them back out, you are telling the public that you, the, the criminals are winning. And that's what's happening. And the more you allow this to go on, the more you embolden people that maybe would not have committed these crimes in the first place. So, um, <clears throat> and then, and then at the end, you got the wrong guy. Who would have been the right guy? No one is the right guy. The, the proper feeling is is sadness and anger towards this. This shouldn't be happening to anyone. And rest in peace. This seems like a really great guy with really just great people around him. He died a hero and that's what his legacy will be now. His legacy will be a hero and a protector. So we need more people like him on this planet. And that's why we need to make sure that the bad guys who have no regard for human life are put away and not in society with people like this. So, um, anyway, that's the video today. I hope you all enjoyed and, uh, I hope you, I hope you have a great day and, and hopefully sometimes with tragedy, people do wake up and, uh, changes can come because a lot of changes need to happen. They've needed to happen for a really long time. This has gone on way too long. Anyway, have a great day. Bye.